Want to upgrade your graphics card to something beefy? Can't really change the power supply due to it being proprietary. It's the size that's funny, or like it's something from HP or Dell that only theirs can be used with that board. Well, guess what? We have a power brick that might be able to help you. So a lot of people know that computers back in the day, especially those uh, uh, proprietary types, Dells, HPs, like I mentioned, other OEMs like that, they use they like to use their own kind of parts in there, or they change pins to for non -st for standard parts not to work with theirs. So you get non-standard components in these computers. A lot of them end up on eBay. They're super affordable. They can make decent gaming rigs, but then sometimes you're limited to having the best power supply that you can have that own not the power supply you're having the best graphics card that you can have that that can only pull power from the PCIe port well if you wanted to upgrade one of those and you wanted a cleaner looking setup instead of having another ATX power supply with all its cables and stuff hanging out I mean you're kind of out of luck but uh, I've recently came up with an idea that I can take a power brick like this like this Dell DA2 power brick and adapt it to power a graphics card this is an external power supply that we're going to be doing however we can tuck it into the case depending if there's room something like that but uh, let's have a look at that so here we have the Dell DA2 power brick now this was designed to be used with certain types of business computers the thin clients that mounted to the back of monitors so they they needed to be small because their power supply was housed outside this is it this can provide up to 220 watts of power so this can power up anything up to a 1070 basically so if you have a computer that that uh, uh, can fit one of those cards and you wanted something beefy, it had a decent processor like an i7, one of the locked kinds that came in those, this can help you get on the right track. So it's pretty heavy, it's kind of big, obviously to put out 220 watts in a package like that, has the indicator whether it's on or uh, standby right here. And let's, look, let's have a look at the adapters that I used. I'll be linking those in the description below as well, that way you guys can find them. So here we have the tip of the power brick. As you can see, it's an eight pin, and it does look like a typical eight pin graphics card one, but no, the pins are different. You can't directly plug this into a graphics card, and if you did, you probably, probably something bad would happen. <laughs> so uh, that's this, and so I went with this adapter here. Now this adapter plugs right into the first, well, this is, uh, what is this? This is like, well, I'm not exactly sure that what this would be in terms of uh, the style of connector, but it's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so it's a 12 pin. Uh, so I'm not sure why it's 12 pins, but you just socket it in like that, plug it in, you have the other two, that's fine. It's okay that it that it's, that this part is open, but uh, this does slide out really well, really easily, so you do want to get some tape on there or something to hold it in, that way when you're using it, it doesn't come out and your graphics card turns off and bad things happen. On the end of this, you, ha you have this as well. Now this adapter is designed to be used with the eGPU setup. And I may have mentioned in some of my other eGPU videos, but this is designed for use with the Akishio, th uh, Ak Akitio? Akishio, whatever, the Thunder 2. And the barrel connector right here is one that will power up the Akishio Thunder 2. And then you have the GPU connectors on this end to plug into a graphics card on that dock. Well, I'm not gonna be using this, and I don't need it, so I'm just taping it off. Then we have, on this end, we have this guy right here. And this is a GPU, P PCIe, this is a six, six plus two pin. Now, most graphics card nowadays, or even in the older days, they need more than this. Now, six, single six pin, fine. Single eight pin, fine. But uh, I needed more flexibility so I can test and make this video for you guys. So I got this adapter, and this adapter is a six pin, no, sorry, eight pin to dual six plus two pin. So now I can use any graphics card that I want. And it just plugs right in here. Well, I do have to do it with all the pins. So let me do this, right? And it just plugs right in here. There we go. So now I can go and take this to the graphics card in the computer that's waiting for me. So let's pretend this is Adele. No, 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 not that Adele. This one. That's missing something though. 
Yeah, now to Dell. So here's the 970 that we're going to be testing out here. And as you can see, no power to it. Even if I wanted to plug it in from this Antec 380 watt power supply unit, Firstly, I don't personally feel like that's enough, so this is sort of the proper use case scenario, even though this isn't actually a bell, but whatever. We have these two connectors, so these are two six pins right here, and uh, yeah, well, that's, that's not enough. This graphics card needs a six pin and an eight pin. So let's get the power brick in there. So here we are, and the power brick is installed. The computer is up and running. This is clearly not the prettiest solution. However, if you have a computer that's gonna be in this situation, you're not even going to be looking at the inside of it. You're going to put the panel on and you're going to forget about it. Unless you move it around and then you'll feel it, but it's easy to take out in case you wanted to transport it. So I actually routed the power cable through the back. There's an opening back there and it, everything is all plugged in, lit up. And like I said, it's booted up. So the computer is up and running. Hello Dell. And there it is, straight at the desktop. So uh, let's test something out, yeah? So here we are playing some PUBG. So let's go over the settings here. Now this computer, and imagine if you had a, a basic old Dell or HP with onboard graphics or a lower, way lower end graphics card, you wouldn't be able to get these sort of settings high on everything. I've got an i5-2400 in this system with 8 gigabytes of RAM and now a GTX 970. So uh, this is good stuff, but I'm going to optimize it a little bit just so I can get some better FPS to show you guys. Turn that down. Uh, V-Sync, might as well turn that, no, I'll leave it off so I'll show you guys how high it really gets. Effects going to medium, post-processing going to medium, and I think that should do it for me. So as soon as I, as soon as I get away from the madness that is the starting zone, FPS goes up pretty significantly. I'm over 90 right now. Let's go in the water. So this little guy is doing really well, and as you can see, that external power brick is taking care of that 970, no problem. And that does it. So as you can see, an externally powered GPU runs just as good as anything else. It may not be the prettiest, but if it's the only solution you've got, going with the power brick is going to be a lot cleaner than having another ATX power supply in there and having all those cables dangling and having to figure out what to do with that. Power brick, these Dell DA2 power, uh, power supplies, power brick, whatever, they're pretty cheap online. Look on eBay, look on Amazon. They're not that expensive. Certainly, you, they could be found for less than an, an, another ATX power supply if you wanted to try to adapt that. So there's that. The adapters, they're only dollars each. I believe that the, the second most expensive one is actually, it's a little more than dollars each. That one that goes from six plus two pin over to two six plus two pins, that one's like five, 10 bucks. And the other adapter, I think is 15 to $20. That's the one that adapts the power brick to the single six plus two and uh, that's designed for the q show note i'll drop just the links for all this stuff in the description below make sure you check that out and uh, if this interests you and there's something you enjoyed click that like button subscribe you always got more coming and uh, i'll see you guys in the next video bye